Tyler Griffin's had the puck right in front of the net. Oh, and Yurko lost control of it. He was all by himself and spun around, and the puck got away from him as he did. So now a wraparound score! Thomas Yurko! Maybe that's what the Griffins need to get this thing headed back in the right direction. A big goal and a wraparound. One to nothing. Griffins on top here in the early going. Bouncing they, all over the place. Yeah, they chip away at it. Number of players converge along the far boards. Puck rolled free. Played by Callahan. He just walks right in front. He couldn't get a shot off. Now Sheehan follows. Has control. He'll drop back to Polkinen. Polkinen back to Sheehan. Top of the left circle he goes. In front score! <laughs> Tomas Yurko! 2 nothing. Griffins on a terrific play to the doorstep and a backdoor goal. A power play tally for Grand Rapids. Oh, oh what a play. Yes. Yo! Wow. <laughs> The puck sent on to Griffin's ice. Jensen back to get it. Whoa. Stepped away from a couple of stars. Four checkers. Got the puck to Corey Emerton across that line. Dropped it up. Hooking him with a drive. Oh. Score! <laughs> bullet! Back puck and bullet! Woo. Laser beam, whatever you want to call it. It's four. Nothing Grand Rapids. <laughs> Tried to step away from Morin and does. Here's a centering attempt. Goes down behind. Ooh, neat idea by Sheehan. A backhand pass intended for Callahan block. Now Sheehan got it back. Down behind the goal. Stepped away from a pair. Texas defenders. Yes, the puck in the doorstep. Score! Yes, Tomas Yurko's got the hat trick. And it's a 5 nothing Griffin's lead. That's what's funny about it. I mentioned it earlier there. They have 10 undrafted players. Yeah. They also have 10 players Drafted in the first and second round. Look out, here's Hedden cutting in. A breakaway and he scores. And Texas is on the board at 224 in the third period, making it a 5-1 game. Now look out. Stars right in front of the score again. All right, guys. Centering pass, and Brendan Ranford is on the board at 547 to make it a 5-2 hockey game. Now he goes after Yurko, and Yurko's going to go with him. Oh, boy, this is ugly. What a there. gutless move, Larry. Oh, well, let's got somebody tied up to now. Yeah, McKenzie was just getting absolutely annihilated by Evans, wanted no part of him. Well, Yerkes is hanging on. See if he can get up. Nobody's really landed anything. Yerkes has got the jersey up over his head. Now they tumble to the ground. Linesman had to do a really good job of holding on to Mitch Callen. I kid you not, folks. He was taking the straps off his helmet as if to say, I'll take the cage off. As the Griffins clear the puck out, and that will do it. So they get a win tonight they absolutely had to have. Back in the series, down two games to one. But again, they're going to have to improve on their play if they want to knock this team off three more times and play in this series. It's a huge step uh, for us, you know, uh, being down 3 nothing or 2-1, uh, uh, it's a totally different uh, series, you know. So uh, I'm really happy we uh, we had a good game. In the last period, we weren't great, but uh, it was still enough to win it. So uh, it's really good for us. How did the team come out tonight? You know, what, what was the attitude coming into this game? Well, we uh, we came back home, and you know, uh, uh, obviously it's a little better to play at home, and uh, uh, we just uh, needed to play better, and uh, we changed the system a little bit, and uh, I think it's working pretty good. Oh, it's uh, it's a good good uh, good win for us, and we got some uh, confidence for sure, but uh, we can't get uh, too excited. It was just uh, one hockey game, and you need four to win the series, so. Uh, we have to just keep going, and we need a big game uh, tomorrow. It, it's been said that you know the way Texas had played the first couple of games that they really caught you guys early. How important was it for you to get off to a good start? It was good. It was good to get a good start here. Uh, home ice, uh, one of uh, three games here, so it was good. And now we have to just focus for tomorrow. Play hard, uh, same way we played uh, 40 minutes uh, tonight. So that's the way we want to play. What were some of the differences between the way you played tonight against the, the first game? I feel uh, I feel uh, they was flying the two first game there in Texas, so uh, we uh, we got some uh, new system there, and I think uh, that worked uh, really well tonight. Uh, we tried to try to take their speed, so uh, I think uh, that was really good for us. Take away their speed. Yeah. You guys were um, doing their, you know, 
beating them up pretty good. They're towards the end of the game. They got a little dirty with you guys. Do you think uh, do you think that's going to bring a little momentum for them, or do you think it's more momentum for you guys, knowing that you guys kind of took charge there at the end? No, well, it really doesn't matter what happened there in the end. Uh, I think we played uh, 40 minutes really good, and that's the way we want to play tomorrow. So we have to just get ready. Timo, how do you how do you take this? You know, when you get get the first win, but you have to play in less than 24 hours. It doesn't matter. Everybody here likes to play hockey, so it's uh, really nice to play hockey. So uh, it's good to get the the next game uh, soon. In other words, you know, how much can you enjoy this one, and how much can you take from it when you know you have to play against? This is the game? this is the greatest uh, greatest time of the year. Play hockey, so everybody here just enjoy uh, enjoy play, and uh, especially we got the first win, so everybody's everybody got some uh, good confidence right now. So it's good that we're gonna play tomorrow. How did you feel like you did tonight? I think we did uh, really good today. Uh, you know, uh, the W is more important for us than. Uh, and everything else, so uh, that was a really important game for us, and, uh, for us, and I'm happy we uh, we made it. Were you, were you upset with uh, the, your third period play? The first two kind of allowed a goal to play spectacular. Well, they had some chances in the first and second uh, second period, so uh, I wasn't upset in third. I know they're going to come hard for us. What does it mean for you to be able to get this win after you get the first two? That was a really important win for us. Uh, you know, we. Uh, we're going from beginning now 2-1, uh, you know, tomorrow in our building, so uh, that was a really important game today. What kind of game that you wanted in this game? Uh, well, I thought uh, for parts of the game we did good stuff. I thought for parts of the game, especially obviously the the third period, we didn't do enough good stuff. I thought um, I thought there were moments in the game where we got pucks behind them and uh, we were on top of them, we were on our toes, and there were moments in the game where we probably sat back too much, we allowed too much speed, you know, our gaps weren't very good, and they attacked us with lots of speed. So, uh, you know, I thought like like any game, I think there was good positives and negatives, and we just got to look at it and say what can we do uh, tomorrow a little bit better, and what can we build on that we did a good job today. What did you think about Thomas Yurko and his hat trick and his fight tonight? Well, just, you know, Yurks is somebody who uh, has done a real good job for us uh, since he's been back here. Um, I, I think he was really, really good tonight. I thought he was one of the best players on the ice. And the one thing about Yurks is he's got a toughness to him that, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not saying I want him running around fighting, but he has a toughness to him for sure, and he showed that toughness there.